Werribee's Player of the Week is brought to you by The Gordon, helping people gain real skills for real jobs for over 125 years. G'day Werribee fans, welcome to this week's edition of The Gordon, real skills for real jobs Player of the Week. And I'm joined by our Player of the Week, Matthew Lobie. Matthew, talk us through your work and how your skills are applied in your workspace. Thanks, Hammer. Um, yeah, I work at the AFL Players Association. Um, I look after uh, the agent space, so um, I suppose for me, probably my experience as a player for a long time. Um, I studied business at the same time, so just combining those two things and yeah, enjoying it at the moment. Are you on that from, from here, so you can definitely. Oh, okay. yeah, there you go. So um, we'll move, move, change tack here, and we'll sort of discuss the game on the weekend. You're obviously the player of the week. Uh, you came up against uh, Chol and Coleman Jones. How did you find that you overcome that duo on the weekend? Um, I think I got helped out a lot by our mids. So if I lost a hit, our mids made me look good uh, for a start. Um, I found Coleman Jones uh, a really tough opponent. Um, and I've played him before and found him tough and um, felt like um, I started well against Chol and that helped me out. Beautiful. Now, there was periods there where I noticed you were floating through the back line and taking intercept marks. Is that something you've done previously in your career or are you doing that for the first time? Uh, I did that as a younger player, but I think Mick must have seen me looking a bit tired, so it pushed me back there to save the leg. So ended up helping me a bit, I think. Um, not having to run as much, so did enjoy playing that role. Beautiful. We talk about running the legs. Uh, the pre-season you had for the club, in fact, was almost an 18-month pre-season. What did you do throughout the time that you were at the club, but you weren't playing last year? Well, a lot happened in that time. Um, yeah, for me, like I started um, my job at the PA and then um, ducked over to Adelaide for half of last year. Um, didn't play any footy, but was over there. Tried to stay fit, but um, definitely um, was not footy fit at all. And I felt that the first few weeks. Beautiful. Now. You're not just a player at Werribee, you're in fact a part of our midfield coaching team. How do you find that, that dynamic goes on game day and talks through the challenges, but also the opportunities, Matthew, in uh, playing and coaching at the same time? Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. What's, what's the coach doing there? Oh, well, yeah. You got no idea <laughs> That's your boss. Doing there. <laughs> Come on. That's your boss. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying that role as well. So I'm working with, um, with Jim Canali, who's um, we're splitting that role and means game day, I get to play, he does the coaching part, and then during the week, um, we work as a team. So really enjoying that part. Um, it helps a lot having senior mids, like Gribble and Hanson and Brewey, who, um, and Joey Mashman, who are great midfielders and, and could be coaches themselves. So um, really enjoying that as well. Well, I'll finish with one question. Who do you often get told you look like, Matthew? Uh, a few people, but probably number one, Prince Harry, yeah. um, which I don't mind that one. Right, good. We, might, we might call it a, a night there. Matthew, thanks for joining us on the Gordon Player of the Week. Real skills for real jobs. See you next week.